trillions will flow into blockchains like Stellar XLM. But what is happening with the price? It has been absolutely stagnant. Well, we really need to look at what's going on with the 10 year yield because the 10 year yield rules it all. And if you haven't seen my previous video, watch it now. At some point I'll do a card so you can see where that is. The card should be up there. The 10 year yield rules it all. The 10 year yield is rising. It's climbing 10 basis points at a time. 10 by 10 by 10 is currently now at 3.2. And as I say, if you watch my previous video, you'll see we discovered a head and shoulders pattern, which is a bearish scenario for the yield. And so really we discovered that if it goes over 3.15%, that could be a complete invalidation of that pattern. But I think what we need to do is discover what is happening, where the critical zones are, what could we see next happening on the 10 year yield with a technical analysis. And then also determine actually what is going on in the market because at the moment bonds are selling off, stocks are selling off. So isn't that meant to be the adverse effect? The 10 year yields going up. Are people going to start fleeing, selling off their stocks to then pick up bonds cheaper? Is that what we're seeing here? and collecting them 3.5% yields. Is that what we're seeing? Or are we at a point of stagnation? Are we at a point of a liquidity crisis? Which means nobody's buying anything. Everybody's selling off and running into cash. <clears throat> and if you haven't seen, you can take a look at the charts now in fact we will go over to the chart shortly and we'll look at it but the Bixi not the Bixi the Dixie has climbed up higher it's going back to that 180 sorry 108 or 109 climbing ever so closer to that 110 well we need to take a look at these things so without further ado Nathan over to the charts please Okay, yes, thanks for that, Nathan. Um, the 10 year yield, so going back to the head and shoulders pattern, um, I wanted to say that if it passed um, 3.15%, um, this, this whole pattern, this whole head and shoulders pattern is invalidated. Um, so it did, but if you see the left shoulder, um, where I've got these two lines, one at the, the, the two horizontal lines is again one at um, 3.15 and one at 3.1, sorry, 3.2. Um, and that's because you've got the wick on the left shoulder. So, what I wasn't going to do was say that if it goes past 3.15. Um, then it's not invalidated. But I think it's fair to say that if we have if we have a zone as opposed to just a strict line, then we can call it if it's if it's closing above that line, then we can call it. At the moment, the line is again to the zone is again 3.2 for the left shoulder but 3.5 for the right shoulder so when i say a zone um if i just pick up if i grab a box from here and then we can sort of clarify what the zone is so this zone here yeah um if we say that if we get a close up above that zone it's inside at the moment. We've got a close inside the zone with that last big green Harami. 
that last big green candle prior to the spinning top. If we get a close above that, then there's no doubt that this head and shoulders pattern is 100% invalidated for me. Okay, others may say otherwise. So then what are we looking at at, at that point then? Um, I would say that I still believe, I still believe the the 10 year yield is too high. And so at that point, if we get a close above that, I would then start to look at a, at maybe a retracement at 3.5. Um, if it goes past that, then all bets are off the table. I'm afraid at that point, I would say that um, for me, it, it, you know, when you have Michael Burry, the big short guy, sending all his stocks, um, the stock market dropping, then that would be probably the point of no return. Um, so at that point, I wouldn't want to be in anything, to be fair. Although cryptos are low, I, there's always a bag that I hold. If we get past the head of the head and shoulders, um, then I wouldn't say, it, I, what I'd like to see is really a strong retrace. Um, and what, I, what do I mean by that? I mean a, a move back down. So I'd want to see a bar pattern, a fractal like this. So let's just take this fractal here. Yes, so we'll take this fractal from here. And what I'd want to see is then something like this moving back down. So that would be our double top, if you like. So something like that is what I'd, what I'd be looking for after that pattern failure. Yeah, so a, a double top, breaking below the 50 day moving average, breaking below the 200 day moving average. Bonds, they've sold off massively. So what are they doing? Can we see any technicals for the US 10? So for the premiums, what's the premiums? Because that's one thing we haven't seen. Uh, what do they look like? To be fair, we're at the price that we're at at the moment, this is a really good indicator, is lower than it's been. But for, for the most part of the time, it's traded above this line here, where we are now. So you can see we've breached this line. So nine times we've breached this line. Um, and it's been the deepest um, this year in May, as you can see. Fell off the cliff. I think, I believe that time we did have um, that massive Bitcoin crash. I would expect to see this trading above that level. So bonds need to be getting brought up at this point. If the Fed are gonna follow suit with the ECB, that's what needs to happen. There is potential to see this go lower. As you can see, there is potential. Um, hopefully not. So hopping over to the Dixie. US dollar, the Dixie, and as you can see from May the 17th, 2021, where we've got this um, vertical blue line, we've got this massive rise. And actually the US dollar hasn't been so high for at least 20 odd years. In any case, back over to you, Nathan. This is what's going on. Okay, so jumping over to Stellar X, then we can see that since May 17th, 2021, we could see that the Stellar XLM against the US dollar had just dropped, it plummeted, and had gone all the way down to 10 cents, dropping below 10 cents. And, you know, we can really look at how much of a drop 
that's been because we've already set out a zone for ourselves right down here. So we're right at the bottom of that zone. That's 87% that it's stacked so far. So that's what's going on there. And there is absolute confluence between um, or divergence between the Dixie and Stellar XLM. Okay, thanks for that, Nathan. So it's clear that the 10 year yield is rising. What does this mean for Stella? What does this mean for stock markets? It means that the stock market is more than likely to keep seeing its way down. It means that Stella may find a floor, it may move further down. However, when we look at the 10 year yield, we have to look at what the Dixie is doing. And I can tell you now, the Dixie has never been so high in so far as tw almost 20 years. 18, 20 years, we can see clearly that the Bixi is at its highest point, which is not good. It's not good for stocks, it's not good for commodities, it's not good for anything, okay? The Dixie being so high is too much pressure for markets around the world. And therefore, liquidity will dry up because nobody wants to buy. So, what needs to happen? Well, it's clear, central banks, the central bank, the Fed, more than likely has to start buying up bonds. Someone has to start buying up bonds to ease up the liquidity in the markets. The effect of this is, unfortunately, higher inflation. Because with lower yields comes higher inflation, higher stock market prices, everything costs more. But this also means that the price of cryptos rise, the price of Stellar XLM rises. And this is just an inevitable cause and effect. So that is what's currently happening in the markets. We are looking for a double top on the 10 year yield. We are currently, as I speak, at 3.24% with the 10 year yield. It's quite high. Has it been this high for a while? But it needs to come down because liquidity is drying up. In any case, I'm Nathan, AKA Nathan of Zion. Smash the Zion coin up there like and subscribe and check out the next video it's going to be on stella and you're going to need to watch it it's going to be a good one have a great day take care now